Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So we are now starting the series of Git and GitHub. Uh, before we move forward, we should have a theoretical understanding of what Git is and what GitHub is. So I have a habit of explaining things while writing them down. Uh, I have read it somewhere that while you write something down, uh, it helps you, uh, you know, memorize it. And uh, while you are watching something being written down, uh, it helps you memorize it as well. Now, uh, let's get on with it. Git and GitHub, right? If I put it in very easy mode, Git is a software while GitHub is a service, right? Uh, the software Git was uh, made by uh, Linus Torvalds, the same guy who made uh, the Linux operating system and GitHub is a service which is operated by Microsoft, right? Now, what is Git? It's a software that uh, helps you keep track of the changes in a file right and uh, it helps you collab helps you collab with other developers with other developers now what do I mean by that for example you have a uh, let's say you are writing a uh, a program file or a code for example and the name of that code is let's say code one dot pi right and you are working on this code for let's say one year one year has passed and you are still working on code one dot pi so what git will do git will track all the changes <clears throat> all the changes right for example uh, you started writing code on 1st Jan and uh, today is 30th of December and you want to find out uh, the situation or the condition of code on let's say a middle date for example what was the condition of this code on 28th of August you can easily go back and uh, find out what was this file what this file looked like on 28th of August right so this is what we mean by git helps you keep track of the changes in file <coughs> excuse me uh, the next point is help you collab with other developers so this is how the system operates so this is your uh, this is your folder right this is your folder and it contains this code one dot pi this contains the file code one dot pi now we will essentially convert this folder into a local repository right this is what it is called it's essentially the same thing it's a folder right once you create a hidden dot git file in it this folder will convert into a local repository right and this this git file will will synchronize with a central repository central repository right and uh, even if even if uh, let's say your system is not connected with internet once you get connected with the internet it will synchronize with this central repository this central repository will keep all the files all the versions and uh, this is how you can have complete control over uh, over your project right and uh, other other developers who are working on the same file code hyphen one dot py they will be able to collab with you with this central repository so it's a very simple simple thing yet very efficient uh, git is a software that is installed on your computer while github is a service uh, git takes control of your computer keep 
keep uh, you know uh, track of all the changes you have made to a file and then synchronizes it with central repository so even if your computer gets destroyed you will have complete uh, complete track of all the changes in cloud right so this cloud is called github this is the simplest and easiest uh, non-conventional way i can tell you what git and github is it's a very important software it's used all around the globe highly recommend you to install it learn it um, like share subscribe love you 3000